Hello and welcome to the What's New in Cabinet Vision Solid version 10 video series. In this video, we're going to be going over all of the general features that have been added to Cabinet Vision Solid. Starting with Cabinet Vision Solid version 10, we have the ability to use advanced CAD tools to arc our moldings more effectively. We'll start with a crown molding, click New Molding. We will now draw a line between two points, click on the Bend tool, and simply bend our line to the proper radius. When we look at this in 3D view, we can see we have a nice proper molding bend. If we go back to moldings, and then switch to our baseboard, this time we'll use the Arc by Radius tool to click in the radius, click on a point, and draw out our molding. Finally, if we go back to moldings, let's change this to chair rail, we can also use a three-point arc. Starting with Cabinet Vision Solid version 10, if we're in the report view, we can right click on an assembly, select edit, make any changes we need to make, and return out, and that assembly will still be selected. In previous versions, we would have to reselect the object. Starting with Cabinet Vision Solid version 10, we have the ability to delete items from the order entry screen using our keyboard. To see this, we can just select an item that we no longer want, and we can now go to our keyboard and press the delete key, and the item was removed. Starting with Cabinet Vision Solid version 10, we now have the ability to display a much higher precision for imperial measurements. If we look to the bottom right of this window, we can see our measurement units. Right now it's set to inches, which is where this new feature is available to us. The precision is set to 1, or whole numbers. If I click on that value, we can see all of the available precision levels available to us. The following values were not available to us in previous versions of Cabinet Vision. Since we can, starting with Cabinet Vision Solid version 10, display a higher precision in our imperial measurements, we can see that it will lead to a large number of trailing zeros that can jumble up our drawings. To handle this, we now have the ability to trim off the trailing zeros from all of our measurements. We just need to click on the CV button, then click on the Preferences button, then click on the Measurements Units tab, and you can see here the new option, Trim Trailing Decimal Zeros. If I place a check mark in that option, then click the OK button, you can see that all of our trailing zeros were removed. If I click on my wall, and then change it to 60.5 in length, you can see it still adds the value in in our measurement. Our next feature starts us off in SketchUp. As you can see, I've created a simple panel and assigned textures to all of the sides. I've saved this model and will now move over to Cabinet Vision. I now want to import this model into Cabinet Vision. So I'll go to the Utilities Ribbon Bar tab and click on the Import SketchUp Model Command button. This will display the Windows Open File dialog to me and I just need to find my panel and click the Open button. Now this doesn't look too different, but if I click the Render button, you can see that the texture that was applied in SketchUp is now being displayed here. Let's go ahead and save this to our library. I'll step through that real quick. Now I can go to my library where I saved the part and drag it out onto my wall 
And if I go into the assembly level and then render this out in PhotoVision, we can see that the texture that was applied in SketchUp was stored and saved onto that panel. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on the new features of Cabinet Vision Solid version 10. If you would like to learn more, please visit our website at www.cabinetvision.com.